Hi everybody, today we're gonna to make paper plate snakes. You're going to need a paper plate, some markers or crayons or colored pencils. You're gonna need some glue. You need some red construction paper. And I'm gonna use white construction paper for the eyes, but if you have googly eyes, that would be even better. So step one, we're gonna draw a spiral on our plate. I'm gonna use a black marker so I know which line to cut when we're all finished. So the next step we're going to complete is we're going to decorate our snake. You can decorate it however you want. You could put stripes or polka dots or a design or even if you want it to be all one color. So I'm going to pick a couple colors. We got blue. I'm doing squiggly lines on mine. But you can do whatever you like. All right, it's gonna get a little harder now because we're getting a little tighter in here. Oh, there we go. Some of them look like S's which is kind of like the sound a snake makes. All right, now when we get to this center part, we're gonna leave it clear because that's where our snake's head's gonna be. So we're gonna have to do some eyes and a tongue. So our next step is we're gonna cut out our snake along that spiral. Remember I colored that spiral black a different color so I knew where I was going to cut. So I'm going to go all the way around here. And remember when we're cutting, we keep our fingers on the bottom and our thumb on the top. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to get a nice shape going here. If you cut a little bit on one side of the line or the other, that's okay. Because snakes aren't perfectly shaped, just like everyone else. Oh. Got a little close on this one. Now look, when we get up here close to the head, we wanna make sure that we don't cut into it. We want to leave that that part so we can do our eyes. Ooh, my snake got curled up on me. <laughs> our eyes and our tongue. Did we learn this week that snakes smell with their tongue? Isn't that pretty cool? All right, so here we go. We have our snake. It's all cut out and we left just the middle part. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my tongue on my red construction paper and my eyes on my white construction paper. Now, if you have googly eyes, you don't have to do this part and they're kind of fun, but we're gonna make it fun here too. So snakes have a forked tongue. That's one of our words that we learned this week. So that's the best I can do for a fork and that's okay. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. That's kind of what a snake looks like. It's tongue at least. All right. It's almost like we made an M when we did that. Oop. There we go. There's my tongue. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave that over there. Now I'm gonna draw some eyes. All right, those are gonna be kind of big for my snake, but that's okay too. I also put them in the middle of the page. <laughs> that's okay too.
And they're not perfect, but that's all right. There's one. There's our second one. So next we're gonna get ready for our glue. All right, let's get your glue stick out. Ooh, Ooh a little stuck. I like the purple glue the best, but you can use any color glue you want. You get a little stick on there. I'm gonna put my snake's tongue right here. Oh, what happened to my eye? Oh, there it is. Another little stick here. My eyes are kind of crazy looking, but that's okay. All righty. Oh, Mr. Jake's snake is a little cross-eyed, but that's okay. <laughs> And then when it's all done, it kind of sticks up like this a little bit. It's a little spring action. And that was my paper plate snake. 